On March 10, 1981, 35-year-old Morris Goodman was flying a single-engine Cessna 172 over the Chesapeake Bay. As he was preparing for a landing, the plane's engine suddenly lost power during the runway approach. As a result, his plane tore through the high-voltage power lines, flipped over, and crashed in a field. After 22 minutes, Goodman arrived at a hospital emergency room. His neck was broken and his spinal cord, jaw, and larynx were all crushed. He couldn't breathe because the nerves in his diaphragm were damaged. After a tracheotomy, he was connected to a respirator. Goodman was urgently transferred to Norfolk General Hospital because it had more resources. There, doctors told Goodman's family that he might not survive a nine-hour operation to stitch his body back together with wire and plastic. But Goodman, against all odds, survived the operation. His family was told that he did not have any functioning below his ears and that he might be able to see and hear, but he would be unable to talk. But Morris Goodman was determined to get back to normal. His sister Waldo, who was a special ed teacher, helped devise a system of communication so Morris can communicate by blinking his eyes. The first part of the recovery was regaining the ability to breathe. Goodman attempted to inhale when the respirator took a breath for him. First he attempted to inhale 100 consecutive breaths on his own, then he attempted to inhale 200 consecutive breaths on his own. Two and a half months after the crash, Morse Goodman no longer needed a respirator. The second part of his recovery was relearning motor skills. Neurological damage was sending skewed signals to his nerves and muscles. In occupational therapy, he was given a tray that had different shaped pegs and holes. It took him about an hour to get one peg in one hole. He was scheduled for one hour of physical therapy, but he'd often stay for three hours. Morris's goal was to walk out of the hospital by Christmas. Instead, he was back home by Thanksgiving in November. But therapy still continued after he left the hospital. It took another year and a half before he was able to button his own shirt. After his plane crash, Morris Goodman became a motivational speaker, which he continues to do today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.